come and have your way. Worship the Lord in your house. He's worthy of all praise. He's worthy to be worshipped.
Shakaina Mueva Lenyon Bakubi de Kumungalo. Thank you so much, Shakaina. Before you see it, please greet the name in the name of Jesus. Okay, Let us sit down in the Lord's presence. You are all welcome in the house of the Lord. Amen. Amen. You are welcome in the house of the Lord. Which form kama wali? The place where the Lord is. Where his presence and his mercy is. You and I ought to know how things work. Turn to your neighbor and say you need to know how things work. Every time someone calls upon the Lord, the Lord listens and he answers. But the Lord does not come from heaven. And he doesn't just come from heaven and say, He's my son, I've heard your prayer. Though he can bring you an assurance or something to show you that he has actually answered. But after doing that, all people on the face of the earth God has placed someone who has an answer for you that is why the Lord called on the pastors and he also placed leaders when God answers you and using the ones he has placed on the face of the earth and he says I've got a son or daughter and this person needs this and that please give it, give it up how comes at the power and speaks the word of God to you. Once you open your ears and listen to the word and accept it, it is done. The Bible teaches in 1 Samuel chapter 9 from verse 15. The Bible says, now, uh, uh -huh. now the Lord had told Samuel in his ear the day before Saul came, saying, Tomorrow, about this time, I will send you a man from the land of Benjamin, and you shall anoint him commander over my people Israel, that he may save my people from the hand of the Philistines. For I have looked upon my people, because their cry has come to me. Uh-huh. Muruganda. Omukono, aha, Okuba, Omukuruaban to Bangemu, Mukono Guava Fili suit. Hm. Kubanga and Nuli Daban to Bange, Kubanga Okuka, Ela Amufako, Amafukuba, Omukuruaban to Bange, Mu, Mukono Guava Fili suit, Kubanga, Tunuli de Aban to Bange, Kubanga, ah, Elimangere, Elimangere, take over Amy IV. 
When the children of Israel cried unto the Lord that they needed a leader because the Philistines were tormenting them. They were causing them to suffer. The Philistines represent evil spirits, sickness, debt, problems, things of all sorts. Now they were uh, persecuting and bothering the Israelites. And Samuel was old. And the sons of Samuel had not walked along, along with the Lord. And the sons of Samuel had not walked along with the Lord. The children of Israel needed someone because they knew it. That often when people cry, God picks up a person and he anoints this person and gives this person every other thing people need and sends this person to deliver his people. That is what he did. When he wanted to give this land a blessing. When he wanted to introduce that Jesus was going to do Abraham, he got Abraham. Abraham Isaac. And from Abraham came Isaac. Abraham was Isaac. And when Abraham begot Isaac, God told him, Give him to me. Which was a sign that God was going to give us his son. Abraham gave his son. When he saw that he had given him his son, and physically he was going to give him. Don't, don't, don't he, he gave him a lamb. Every time he hears you crying and, and he hears, he raises up someone. And he gives this person whatever you need. He anoints this person. He gives this person authority over you. to speak a word and it comes to pass. So it is upon you to listen to the person God God and you obey him. Once you are obedient, your life will be changed. Your life is going to be good. When the children of Israel cried unto the Lord, God told Samuel that I am going to send someone anoint him to be a leader of my people. The reason is, he says in verse 16, to be a leader of my people, Israel. For he shall save my people from the hand of the Because I have looked upon my people. Because their cry has come to me. Verse 17. When Samuel saw Saul. The Lord told him, There he is, the man I of whom this one shall reign over my people. You and I are God's people. We are his children. We are the ones supposed to cry upon him. But as you pray, as you speak to the Lord, you need to know how he's going to answer you. 
If God is going to and he's going to work, he uses the pastors to get deliver them answers. What brings us here is God to praise him, to love him, and the other thing that the Lord may work upon each issue of us. Every time the children of God cry. In Uganda. In Uganda. When people cried unto the Lord. For the leadership that was For the death that was on God. Then he raised President Museveni. He sacrificed his life and went into the world. Today we have peace. He raises someone. In the physical world and in the spiritual world. Now in the church, he speaks through his that you and I are like a tree that was planted by the Lord. For you and I to go ahead, you need to understand where you fall. If God has placed you in this place, you need to know how to tap the anointing and blessing. It's by listening to the word of God. To be obedient to. to act according to the word that God has given Once you. Once you pay attention to listen, there is nothing that will fail you. Every time people cry, God raises someone. Amen. Amen. The Bible says in the book of Judges, chapter 13. When the children of Israel sinned, they sinned. They were given into the hands of the Philistines. You right, simply write. They spent 40 years suffering. When they cried unto the Lord, when they cried unto the Lord, what happened? God came to the wife of Manoah and said, you are a barren woman. You're going to have a son and he's going to be sons. But he has been set aside from right in the world. Because he has come with a purpose. He's going to be a head. He's going to be powerful. He's going to deliver Israel from the hands of the Philistines. Saba, Saba, pray and speak to the Lord. But the way you're going to get this answer is listening to what your pastors say to you. That is why the enemy does not want people to fellowship. Does not want people to listen. Because God uses the pastors to deliver to you your answer. Your answer. He uses the pastors to deliver. The children of Israel spent 40, 430 years. When they cried unto the Lord, God sent Moses and gave him the authority. And he said, I have turned you into a God. Go and rescue these people. I will be with you. The Red Sea obeyed Moses. Pharaoh obeyed. He did signs and wonders. Though Pharaoh was a murderer, he was not able to. Kill. How could you send frogs into his house and he just leave? They were always uh, inheriting it. 
They were murderers. Pharaoh had been raised in a way of life. And he knew he was the author. He had kings of all sorts. So when Moses went to him, he asked, Who is that God that I know? Because Pharaoh knew he was the Alpha and the Omega. No one had to tell him to obey. But Pharaoh, because Moses had been sent by the God he was sent to select him and to make him lead his people. He gives him authority over all situations. No matter how it looks like. No matter how it is. I want to tell you my friend. So many people have missed out on their uh, because you have not seen your pastors as gods you see them as your fellow men though they are fellow men but in the spiritual realm he has been given to, you, to have authority to you to be a leader to you to be your answer that they've got authority to say a word to you and it comes Musa. to the moment Moses told Pharaoh let the people go if you fail then the frog then the fly then the boil all things that befell let water turn into blood but Pharaoh could not raise his hand against Moses why do you think so? because God was with Moses now pastor what are you saying every time you pray and you cry to the Lord listen attentively when you come to listen to your pastor because he's got an answer for you I have witnessed you can go to very many churches it's not bad but at the end of it all the one who will help you and work on your issue is your pastor and when you sit down at, uh, at your pastor's feet you feel peace the Lord told Samuel that he's going, to be he's going to have authority and he's going to help my people. Yes, Jesus was born. The prophets had already talked about him. And though Jesus was the son of God, and though Jesus was actually God, Jesus knew the way the world works and the way heaven works. Jesus knew that God sends somebody to the world and gives him a task and gives him authority over the land. Over, uh, and those who are in it. Yes, we are when Jesus was born, when he was eight days old, he was taken to the Zachariah. priest Zacharias. And he spoke words to him sabira. and prayed upon him. Simba. And he established him. When he came to a time of ministry, he needed a John. Though he was actually God, though he was actually a child of God, Jesus followed all the norms and principles. What is bothering people today? We don't want to humble ourselves. We don't want to follow the norms. When your pastor says do A, B, C, D, and then you say, but I heard over the radio when they were saying this and that. But when your pastor says you have no demon on you, and then you say, But I heard on the radio when you were saying, you could not have, then you are there staggering. You are bothered for a long time. 
messengers. The people that God brought to Bethlehem. He placed them under Kabona. And we who work along with once you decide to obey, and it, listen and obey to what it is. There is nothing to you you. from being what you're supposed to be. The challenge is in your spirits there is a struggle. But God's way. God's way. Every time you cry, God talks to you. There are people I see in this church, but I had already seen them in the spiritual world. When I, then I begin praying for them, even before they appeared physically. Do you see that? Yesu. Jesus came to John. If the heavens was to open up, and then God would come. Jesus had to be, go down and humble himself before him. Because John, he was his leader. He led him to clear the way. He needed a John. And John spoke about Andrew, Jesus saying, I am not even worthy to, uh, to let loose his lesson. He talked about him. But when Jesus came, John said, uh, John said, but you are my Lord. Jesus said, yes, I am. But we ought to follow and accomplish all the works of heaven. I need you, John. Though you need me. But today I am in this carnival. I need someone in this world who has given authority who has given authority to speak a word to me. Now, John, you are my pastor. Zachariah went to Now you are the one. When Jesus humbled himself before John, what happened? He baptized him. And then the heavens was opened. It was opened. And God said, that is, this is my son. Yes. And Jesus was filled with the Holy Spirit. You may be asking yourself, why aren't things working out the way I believe? Any sheep that does not obey its sheep. Okay. Let us go to John chapter 1. John chapter 1. The gospel according to John chapter 1. Verses 3 and 4. It says, All things. John chapter 2. 3 and 4. Mm. To him the doorkeeper opens, and the sheep hear his voice, and he calls his own sheep by name and leads, leads them out. And, you, uh -huh. and when he brings out his own sheep, he goes before them, and the sheep follow him, for they know his voice. They know his voice. Jesus was teaching about a shepherd. He says once he has his sheep, he leads them and they follow him. The reason is they yeah. know his voice. Okay. Let us go to verse 26 and verse 27. Uh -huh. say, to 30. Uh -huh. But you do not believe because you are not of, you are not of my sheep as I say, say to you. My sheep hear my voice and I know 
and I know them, and they follow me. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish, neither shall anyone snatch them out of my hand. My Father, who has given them to me, is greater than all, and no one is able to snatch them out of my Father's hand. I and my Father are one. Agambi what? He says, Na yemwe temukiriza. Kubanga temuli bamu ndigaza ange. Amini musamfu. Endike izange ziulile dobo zili ange. Na ange nzitege ila. Ela zingobe lida. Agambi mwe temuli la dobo zili ange. He says you do not hear my voice. Kubanga. Simply because you are not part of my ship. But my ship. They hear my voice. And I also know them. And I also lead them. Ask your neighbor. For how many voices were you created to listen to? All sheep have their shepherds. And he says those sheep. They've got to listen to their shepherd. Your shepherd. That you are free. You are free. And Elijah tells you you are free. Then you say. When I was at the road. They said, I need to release myself. The question is, how many voices do you listen to? If you want things to work, Jesus says, I know my voice. They also know my voice. And they listen to me. I lead them. Follow me. But you are not part of my voice. That is the reason you do not even know my voice. I have given you a message. When I wanted God to use me, we were with Maureen. We moved several feet. When we heard about the anointing, we went out. I was even taken to a big pulpit. And they, but they never prayed. They for me. never said anything about me. I came back so disappointed. But when I was in prayer, I was told whatever you need, it is right in you. Go back and obey. You. Stay there. And you will get everything. Now you see what I am today. So I am telling you what I know. I have been sent to 2022. If you listen and obey the voice of the and you follow your past, there is nothing that will deter you. Nothing will stop you from prospering. God raises someone in the first service. I called upon some people. One lady gave to Testimony. She came to she came to church. Oh, Mufumbo. She's a married woman. Oh, but the man is not a married. She had been blocked in her private parts for five years. She could not be with her husband. So how do you think that is is there a man who wants to wait for you to realize that the door has But we are here in the service. It was in the evening. And God gave me a word. That there is a lady here who was caught in a past. But God is opening you up. And the place was open. Her marriage stabilized. She gave testimony. That she, she came over to me. And she said, I am not ashamed of this story. Because I glorified God. And she talked about her past. I suffered for five years. I had been blessed. But I was in the service. She was seated around that place. I was praying. I saw her in the spirit. I spoke to her. Now her marriage is okay. 
Why? She listened to the voice of the pastor. The problem is we have so many voices. We listen to so many yes, voices. Jesus is saying, my shepherd, he listened to my voice. Every pastor has his sheep. And when he speaks, they listen. But the problem is you listen to so many This year 2022 Decide. Which pastor are you going to listen to? And then you follow that one I know what I am telling you. And I want to, I have been told to tell you. Because we as your pastors pray for you. Those people out there, they know. And you, inside, we have another church online. They know that we are their pastors. And they are always disappointed. They ask if we don't have a message. And you also hear. When you listen. What I did, I came back and sat down and watched the message. That time I was still young. The church wasn't as big as the church. The church wasn't as big as the church. There weren't even the church. But I humbled myself and listened. Now see what the Lord has turned me to. It was one time. Kabona led a service like a super Sunday. He came around praying. When he came to me, he placed his hand. And the power of the Lord got me and hit me. The wall. I fell down on a floor. But from that day, everything changed. Even when I'm going to minister, I see Kabona preparing, telling me, prepare yourself, you're going to minister. To be a pastor. I saw Kabona in the spiritual world. This church had been turned into a bus. Kabona and Peter. Kabona called me. And he asked me, will you be able to drive this bus? I said, yes, I will be able to drive. He asked me, will, are you sure you will manage? About three times. And he gave me the keys. And he sat. And he sat. I began to tell people, get into the bus. Some people got into the bus. But some said, if Elijah is the one driving. But in my heart I had peace. I got into the bus. I began to drive. There were a few people in it. Some people had refused. But I had peace in it. As you know, he was driving the bus. I began the bus. The road was not very far. But I got onto the tarmac. On the tarmac. Someone began throwing the bus. He asked me a question. I used to be I told him, yes, I'm going. The more I drove the bus, the, the, the hard the road, road was getting, my road was getting more clear. Until I found some other people along the they way. They began asking me to stop. I stopped and then they got into the bus. I go, drove I the bus. I found people waiting for me. Bus in and then the bus was bus where Jura. Once the bus was now it began to enlarge. It began to enlarge. It began to enlarge. It began to enlarge. More and more people were More and more people were Which year, what day? Last week. He showed me the people. Now it has People were getting up in the upper Now they were getting up into the upper chair. I have said that in the first service. Katonda. God had spoken with one member in the church and said it was in Sam's message and he told me pastor you were talking about the bus I also dreamt about it and the church had expanded tremendously people were sitting people were sitting at the different levels of the church and the church was filled with God's presence I want to tell you 
I know my responsibility. I know my job. I know. My boss gave me the bus drive. Uh, that is why I take a lot of time in his presence. I have seen many of you even before you came into the church. I want to tell you. I want to tell you. There's a certain gentleman who comes from Zambia. He was suffering from a back. Ending. He has been around. He came up. He struggled with backache for a full year. But he was around in Super Sunday. He came up. The man was coming from now he's okay. The reason is that the sheep listens to the voice of the sheep. Your pastor knows where you are. He knows knows everything. Make a choice. Whether you listen to the pastor of this place or you listen to those other ones you want. I want to tell you up front. Right from the old time God always made a choice and picked up. John chapter 1, verse 6. John chapter 1, verse 6. He says, There was a man sent from God whose name was John. This man came for a witness to bear witness of the light that all through him might believe. Verse 6. Every time Every time God hears the voice of God, and he sends that person to there is someone who has been sent to the whole world. He can send you to Kabbalah. But that you are here in Lusaka. He says, my sheep, listen to my voice. I have sent it here in church. All people who listen to what the pastors say, they have seen a blessing. The, uh, uh, God has told the pastor, you fast from uh, uh, third to thirty-first. And then someone says, that I, for me, I fast with people of the other place. Now we are in 14 days. And so they uh, announced a dry fasting. No, Linda. You wait to see the fruits of their fasting and you see none. And when things go worse, then they come over. Listen to what your pastors tell you. In Acts of the Apostles chapter 9, there is a man soul of Tarsus who persecuted the church who turned out to be Paul when he was going to Damascus Jesus met him what happened? he was blinded but by the time his eyes were opened Jesus is not the one who opened his eyes Jesus told him there is a man who was was given authority to open your eyes and what are his names? Ananias Ananias and God Jesus told Ananias that Saul has seen you in his vision you go and open his eyes see where Jesus ended but when he went out to Saul he did more than that what did he tell him Saul Saul so, Open your eyes and see. He placed his hands upon him and prayed that he would be filled with the Holy Spirit. 
If you look at what Jesus was it was not there. The reason is because he was, he was, he was responsible. Once you listen to the voice of your pastors, let me tell you all you If you refuse to listen to the voice of your employer, you are not going to enjoy the fruits of God. All, only those who obey their employer employers, they see a blessing. This is in church, it is at home, and it is at home. Or anybody who has authority over you, obey him. If you want to see a blessing, Madam Hopkins, what does God tell Agar? Hagar? When Agal had a problem with Sarah, she ran away with her pregnancy. But the angel of the Lord met with her and asked her, where are you going? That I'm running away, they are torturing me. What she was calling being tortured, that is what, not what Malaika Mugamba, Agari Dayo. The angel told her, Agar, go, back. go back and be obedient unto Sarah. Eri and to your mistress. Dayo, go back and be obedient. Do you if you do not obey your pastors then when you are at your place you feel you are so big you have no protection when the enemy attacks you he's just going to beat you down that is why God says do not touch the anointing that is why the king he said he, he was told be obedient to the or be obedient to the prophets that is how you will be established in Acts chapter 10 there was a rich man Cornelius he was so generous. You will read about him. He was praying. But when the angel of the Lord came to him, he told him, send for Peter. That one is your pastor. He has just everything you need. I have seen your generosity. I've had your But if you want things to work out, Peter. call upon Peter. Peter. And when Peter came, what happened? The entire house was built to God and they were saved. God used Moses. Okay. In numbers. Basha Takaya. To gain them, Kubala. In numbers. Kubala. A very woman can never be shook up by a ballet bashete. Kubala, 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 where are you? Where are you? Where are you? Kubala, 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 Kubala. Kubala, a very woman's self. Numbers chapter twenty seven. Katuvekuri Nidi. Okay, Katuvekuri Kuminesat. From verse 13. And when you have seen it, it, you also shall be gathered to your people as Aaron, your brother, was gathered. Okay, from 12. Mm. Now the Lord said to Moses, Go up into this Mount Abarim and see the land which I have given to the children of Israel. Mm -hmm. And when you have seen it, you also shall be gathered to your people as Aaron, your brother, was gathered. Mm -hmm. For in the wilderness of Zin, during the strife of the congregation, you rebelled against my command to hallow me at the waters before their eyes. Uh -huh. Verse 15. Then Moses spoke to the Lord, saying, let the Lord, the God of the spirits of all flesh, set a man over the congregation who may go out before them and go in before them 
who may lead them out and bring them in that the congregation of the Lord may not be like sheep which have no shepherd. Verse 18. And the Lord said to Moses, take Joshua, the son of Nun, with you, a man in whom the spirit is the spirit, and lay your hand on him. Mm -hmm. Set him before Eleazar, the priest, and before all the congregation, mm -hmm. and inaugurate him in their sight. Mm -hmm. And you shall give some of your authority to him, that all the congregation of the children of Israel may be obedient. Hallelujah. Amen. Do you see that? Karonda. God told Moses to get to go out. He said, Moses said, Choose someone who will lead your people. Who will take them forth. God told Moses, There is Joshua. Put him before the congregation. Before the priests. And the elders. The congregation. And get part of the authority that is on you. And place it upon him. So that people can be obedient to him. Yeah. Yes. I thought that God, you're going to bring a new glory. But God told Moses, You are responsible. Lay your hands upon me. Get part of your spirit. So that people can be obedient. Fill him with authority. Because that is your office. Casarina, if you understand where you are in God, and you listen to your pastors, and you understand they have grace to you. whatever they say comes to pass, there is nothing that will fail to work out. Why is it that to some people you listen, you listen to the word today and then you turn on another radio? The other word was spoken to those people. For every church, they they, they are those who fasted for seven days. days. They are those for seven days. days. They are those for fourteen days. Do you see for that? For us, we are for 29 days. So Jesus has said, My voice, my sheep know my voice. I know them. And they follow me. So many times, I have been before the Lord. And God has told me a word. One time we saw Mr. Mwine speaking of oh, In so many years. He said, Pastor, you called me up. That God has raised people in Philippines to pray for me. But I just didn't have... I had no connection with that country. When, he's, uh, when I say those words, he's, he said in his heart, does the pastor tell the truth over this? Ah, what has he said? Nah, maliza, gama, na gama, kale. He said, well, let it, well, let it be. December, young but in December, he told me that today he has connection with people in Philippines who say they are together with him. But so many years have passed over 10 years. But today, he says the word that was spoken to him was sure true. I want to tell you, your pastor is always at a different level. His communication and religion, when he speaks a word with you, believe it. The problem you have is that you listen to so many people. But I've been sent to you that we And says God blessed me in this church. Let me listen to what my pastor said. I gave this testimony to the people in the service. Some person was in Oman. 
where they were working. This person had a church where he or she was fellowshipping at the time. But things were not working out the way. So this person prayed. And in the prayer, this person said, Lord, show me my right to church. This person had a dream while in a man, having come here, and found Kabona in the, in the parking yard on phone, and said, Pastor, I want to join this. And the pastor was happy. The pastor called this, uh, the ushers to join this person in the team. team. And said, Father, thank you for answering me. Now I have understood what you want to be worshipping. When this person came back, this person got another person and joined the church. And the tithe this person had kept for a long time brought it forth. I uh, met with Kabona and Bishop Lithan. I, and I told them, this person is in Oman. If you're listening, if God placed you here, I am instructing you the way Pastor Serada instructed his people. Close all other doors and be here. If you are listening, if you feel that your pastor is in Jinja, because you're missing out on your blessings, the person who has them is in Jinja. But if you know that Kabona is in Jinja, and Pastor Lai, and Pastor Lai, you are going to see the goodness of the Lord in 2022. You are going to experience the Those on online listen, you're going to see the goodness of God. I have got a lot of testimony of the people God has healed online. Now some people are wondering, hey, hey Pastor, no, so are you binding us in this place? True. Because I want you to be well. I want to tell you. Yesterday when I was leaving the service, I returned home. I prepared myself while reading the Bible. I was with the Lord from home. Uh, at midnight. We winded up at Five he allowed me to take a break. And I woke up at uh, two minutes after seven. I prepared myself to come to minister. I know what the Lord has shown me. But I spent all that time, though it would not be very easy for someone who had been fasting, but God was with me. And as I'm Bab he told me the reason why people don't see a blessing is because they don't listen to the voice of their pastors. It is Are you listening? If you are told something in church, but you to the one see, we So if you have decided to listen to another one, But if one of your legs is in God's and then another one is in Kansas, and then another one is in Lunguja, you will just lose it all. You will lose seriously. What does God say? What does he say? Let me give you this one and we pray. I was with Madam Hopkins and last night. And God showed me that don't worry, everything is okay. Everything is well. 
Blichimu. Everything. Chiri bulungi. Is well. Matayo mukumi na msamf. Matthew chapter seventeen. Matayo mukumi na msamf. Matthew seventeen. Most of you, by the time you come to church, we have already seen you in the spiritual world. Now, after you manifesting in this uh, physical world, you come to church, but you don't listen. Matthew 17, 5. He says, uh -huh. while he was still speaking, behold, a bright cloud overshadowed them, and suddenly a voice came out of the cloud, saying, This is my beloved son, in whom I am well pleased. Hear him. Oh, I... Do you see that? Yes, we are when Jesus was on the mount, Peter, with Peter, Yokana, and John, Jacobo, and James, Musa, Neri, and, and then Moses came and appeared over. Peter, no, no, come on, then Peter said, oh my Lord, e ne chija, ne then a cloud came and overshadowed them, boys, and they heard a voice telling oh, yo, yeah, mwana, wange. this is my son. Eh? Mu, mu, Listen to him. God instructed Atulagira. He instructed that this is my son. Listen to him. God wants us so much to listen. Amen. Amen. If you want to listen, listen to what your church says. Listen to your pastor. Once you decide to listen, everything will work out. There are people here. They've been more caused to move from one place to another. Keep standing. Amen. 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 I often used to go to Pastor yeah. Sarada's place in the overnight. But one time I was going there si during the night. Uh, around uh, Victory Church, there in Chiba. There were timber shops around that place. Now instead of turning to continue into the church, I just went into the Wali timber shop. Mkumi. There was a security guy. So he arrested me. He asked me, you, where are you going? I told him, excuse me, I was going to the pastor's place. He said, you were a thief. You are a thief. I pleaded with him. Didn't he take the photo? He ended up taking my offer to re, and yet I had walked on foot. So when pastor was speaking here, I really saw the blessing I have got from this place. Now I don't know the time I have spent without going to any other church. So when I Myself, if I am to go to anywhere else, have I been satisfied here? Service zero one on Gany Tan week in Zimaze on your king and then on Yendala. Have I exhausted all the services in this place so that I go elsewhere? The other testimony is for my workplace. There came a time. I was teaching the law, the infantry Madam class. Hope Madam Hope is my boss. But some of my colleagues had some extra work So there were other schools which wanted them to train their Kakati. teachers. Now, you have been called to go and work there, but you have no job So you had to sneak out to go and get some little money By the time they would ask where it's so -and -so, you had to tell a lie, I'm going to such and such a place. 
Now you'd find yourself telling a lie and yet you're peaceful. You don't have peace. But now I have peace. I say, let me earn what I'm earning. And I have seen a blessing. Then we are only bothered. You just need to be faithful at what you And in this church, whatever we need is right. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Praise God. Amen. God has tremendously blessed you. You sit down for a while. I was staying around that place. I had a challenge of getting just money to pay rent for a month. Amen. But now I have my own house. God has given me a wife. Um, 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 he has given me a house and not just one house there are three in one Praise be to God. Things have been working out one by one. I have traversed countries. I've been to America seven times. But the blessing has come from down at school. Where I was trying to confuse around. But when I came to realize that, Lord, let your will be done. And I became obedient to me. And I showed that I am available. And my pastors, I have peace. I don't know how the wedding came out all well. No, for me, I am driving, though others had never driven. I have taken long without driving. Even if I hear that it is hot boiling elsewhere, have you exhausted it here? Have I exhausted everything here? I leave a service here to go elsewhere. I have moved away from that level. Hallelujah. Amen. Have you had the testimony? I've got I have my parents. These people felt it in their hands. But where they are, they, they had gone, probably they had been given to the But let me ask them, ever since they returned home, how are things going? They are becoming younger every time. Hmm? Amen. We greet you all in the name I reside in Lukulinanganda. The Lord Lord has blessed us. We have blessed us. Praise 
Naye mkato atukoze obulungi bulungi wadde nga tumuli azamanya tuwa bujuli zibulungi Kati tata nyaka doto obulida abantu bano okuvola mwajja waka wano Ever since you returned Na mulira nti tutusa waka bichika tonda byakoze What has God done during this time Atukulida makubo He has made out ways nyumba ya kalina He has given us a storied building Abana bafi tutuina Boyogera ku nyumba ya kalina balowoza wansina waguru babulire nti atuwada apartment kama yebazi wa buluganda amen ah twalinga tusabira ku harvest na yenga twalukukwera wano but this is the place where we got born again kati wetufuna abana abana ne bakulamu when we got tukamba katugende wali okumpi we say let us go to a nearer church nayenga mukugenda yo but in going there twamanya tuliniika we knew we have a home Ah, bana we bakula ni tugamba ate bana we tuchata kuba ku mukono katudeyeka when our children grew up we said let us return home eri twali ne bifo twali bakulu baba chala twali bakadde mu kanisa twali chichi yona we had all sorts of positions in the other church era musumba yanga bakulu mu yanku bilisimu one time the pastor called me of the other church where we were nangamba mchala katindi nkusaba oleme kuva mu kanisa eno ne mubuza lwachi she asked he asked me that mrs katenda i request you don't leave this church and i asked why ntikatonda yanda zentyo lunaku lulukira nuva mu kanisa eno igenda kusasika yuna that god showed me the day you decide to leave this church the whole church is going to scatter banange church ya sasika The truth is the church cut split. Era beta gesala church ya sasika ya sasikira daladala. Truthfully the members of the church left. Ah kati we twajja mu church when we came back to church here returned home abasumba ne batwaniriza. Our pastors welcomed us. Ne batwagala and they loved us. Mukama atukoledde byekisa. God has done acted us graciously. Mukama tuzimbi de Kalina. God has helped us apartment. Uh, apartments. Zili mwenda. Nine of them. Muchitundu wetu sura in the area where basasula mitwala 5. In the area where we reside Bulika. people pay 9 500,000. Bulika apartment ni ezafe basasula nsambu. But in our apartments they pay 700. Mukama ya tutwalira abana ebweru wanu twina wo mwana omu abana bali Germany bonna abana bana bali no butuze omtanna bana yenga katonda agenda chikola kubanga ye mwesigwa banange mukama atukoze obulungi obutagambika our children are abroad and god has done good to us ah tuina yo ne apartments tuina yo ne nyumba ndala bidi ngazo zili full house ngazili same detached zobatu wa mitwalu chinda and we have other houses where we are given a banange mukama atukoze bulungi nyo hasn't god done us good na yenga abo luganda tubera nnyo mu kanisa twe wayo nnyo ne wetuliranga tukoye wachi litujje mabeke yo nobanga adozi nga mukona ye no ganetta no kulira ekigamo ne wembulira ye chedda kikebiri we so much got us tulira basumba bafe kibatu kibatu gambe njiri okukungana kuli ne nja ulo chechukuche che che cheko enja ulo jofu na mubulamu bobo moyo fellowshiping has makes a difference in your life Amina nyabo Luganda. May God bless. Oyose no kokera. Tato na akola naye olusi musasira. Aduka ku mulimu agalawo nga buchi ali taina na banne. Wino kula ngaze mu service. Ali mama I know muzukuru. Abantu abawaleddu omukisa. Bategedde dobozi lya basumba babwe ne batula. Those who have been blessed have understood the voice of their pastors. Na yegwe mukama babo mukisa. May God bless you. Ogama ndi kabona ye musumba musumba disan Elia. You say Pastor Dithan Pastor Elijah is my pastor. Ato maliliza ogama nkunganya asigo njitwala wa pastor na bela ku radio ne ku TV asekenyo. But you end up I'm taking my seed to the other pastor on TV. 
Let us stand up. I will keep giving you samples of people. We'll go back to Yagambie. Verse 27. That my sheep hear my voice and I know them and they follow me. Verse 28. Verse 28. And I give them eternal life, and they shall never perish. The word that God gives you is of life. When you listen to it and you believe in it, things will work out. Now, over Kosovo. You come from Kosovo. Longuja. How many churches? Ubanga mami sebagala awulira bano bebachi. Because Mr. Sebagala feels these are his pastors. Ena omundo wa sinze wa nokabe nyor wa wa kafi ya mchala sebagala mpyo kwenye njaga lokobe na msavi sine kafi ataba boda te baba kiri na yave Kosovo. But she leaves Kosovo and comes over here. Nadia. She comes. This year, if you want to see a blessing, listen to the voice of your pastor. Follow them. Ask, ask your neighbor today, make a choice. What is going to be the name of your church and who is going to be your pastor? We want people about the pastor called Chiwede. We want people about the pastor called Chiwede. And people were saying we are we ill talking about him. Robert. Later we hear people complaining about how much they were cheated. But we told you. At Chiwede's place, you give 200. Now, with your pastor, you don't need to pay him anything for you to see him. But when it comes to giving in offer, you have 500 shillings. For us as pastors of this church, we pray for you. Kabona Saba. Kabona pray. Ne ho prinis. Madam Hopkins. Salonga Saba ne Jane. Pastor uh, Dinsana. Mukazo wa gaizo babulira. My wife can tell you. Olu sobu dewe mala. Sometimes the time I spend. Deranzu kusizanga pumu demwe sawa bi. Today she woke me up after taking a rest for. Na ino kwenye zamu service soka. Yoku bi ndimu yoku satu ndiwa rogulo. Baka rwena dayo. Ne ne wako tu zine ne ba kasi kwenye zora sa desi dawaka. Uh, I have. I had to minister in all the services for Sunday. I do not even return. You tell someone the truth. And then afterwards they say you have a t- certain type of demon. Then you raise up your hands. Raise up your hands. Give thanks to God. Give thanks to God. Okay, we are going to pronounce the word of Bible. The Bible says in that you will declare a word and it shall come to pass. This is the third Sunday. We are in time of two days. We are going to make a difference. Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Are you ready? Say, repeat after me. Because it is going to happen to you. Amen. Amen.
In the name of Jesus, I thank Father for His Son Jesus. He gave for me. I was crucified with Jesus. I died along with Jesus. I was elected along with Jesus. 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 I am with Him. His word says in Colossians chapter 4 and verse 3 and I died with Jesus and my life has been joined with that Jesus and is put in God I am a child I was born of God I am the light of this world the Bible says in John chapter 8 Verses 12. Jesus says, I am the light of the world. All who believe in me will never walk in darkness. They will have the light of life. I accepted Jesus. I have the light of life. In me there is no darkness. I have no bondage. I have no bondage. I have no bondage. I have no bondage. Satan is a kurumba. The enemy cannot. Naya tagenda kumpangula. Kubanga chawa nikiwa. Mubalwa ya yokane soka. Esula yokuna. Onyolwa kuna. Titwamu angula. Elari muse. Yesu amai. Jesus is powerful. More powerful than the one in the world. More than the one in the world. Yesu ari muse. Jesus in me. Ayogera mubefes. He says in Ephesians. He says in his word in Corinthians chapter 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verse 17 that I was joined with Jesus whoever joins the Lord becomes I am one spirit he said in his word and said in verse 18 that I was born in the temple. I am the temple. I am the temple. I am the temple. I was purchased the temple. Let us have God. Of the Spirit of God. Wells in me. In Galatians. In Galatians. I am a child. I am a child. He sent his Holy Spirit. He sits in my mind. He sits in my mind. And he calls Father. I am a child of God. Again, he says in Corinthians. Verse Corinthians. Verse 17. Whatever is born of God. Overcomes the world. I was born of God. I overcame the world. All the pastors are born. I was born of God. I am going to say the pastor. I am going to preach the pastor. The Lord has been defeated for me. The enemy has been defeated. Satan listens. Satan listens. Satan listens. It was written in Isaiah. Chapter 54. Verse 17. There is no weapon. That you have to fight against me. That is going to be blessed. It was written. Job chapter 5. Verse 12. That they will plan. It's my God. It destroys the plans of the enemy. Their hands can never fulfill it. Whatever they plan against it. Whatever they plan against it. Against my family. Against my family. Against my wife. Against all I possess. Whatever they plan against it. Whatever they plan against it. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. When they go through the right time, the Lord will put me on the right hand. They attack on the left. He will put me on the right hand. They attack me on the right hand. He will put me on the right hand. He is with me. 
My God. The way he said it. Chapter 97. And verse 3. That my God. When he is moving. Fire goes in. And it's so easy. I don't have it. My enemies. My enemies of God. I am fighting. I am fighting. And God is fighting. Fire is leading me. It is taking away all my enemies. It is swallowing all my enemies. It is finishing all the way. It is taking away the disease. It is taking away the disease. Whatever they were doing. They are being covered in the middle of me. All the ways are being made. The Bible teaches. That the Bible teaches. And we are saying. 2020. The rope has been broken. We have survived. I am giving God my life. I am safe in this. My workplace is safe. My workplace has been fired. My work is going forward. My God is full of grace. He is full of compassion. I was not born over. Oh God. That can perish. And I am saved by the blood of Jesus. He knew me. Before I was born. My mother's womb. He knows me. Me. And he's with me. He works with me. My hands are blessed. Whatever he touches, blessed. my life is changing. I am moving to glory. glory. I am getting into glory. glory. I am getting into glory. glory. I am going into glory. I am going into glory. 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 glory. In the boat, Jesus. I am his boat. And he is in the boat. He is the driver. He is the driver. He is all in all. He is my God. 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 He and they are Egyptian to them. And he looked at them. He looked at them. And he laughed. This very moment. I said, 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 I to give me a good ending more than the beginning. Listen you, the word. Listen to me, you, the word. I am blessed. And I am a blessing. I have God's protection. I have God's fear. Goodness and mercy. Are with me. Wherever I go. I see goodness. Wherever I go. I see goodness. I see goodness. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am a child of God. I am the one who is born. No blood that is born. I am here. And my blood. Who was born? No blood of Jesus. And my life is born. I am the light of the world. I was born in the city. I was born in the city. The light came to me. The light came to me. And I accepted Jesus. I was born in the city. 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 Bless them. Thank you for your family. Thank you for your work. Thank you for everything is done. Oh, Lord, we are here. The Lord is laughing at your enemies. The clans are 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 laughing at your enemies. Where you are, they are going to understand the one you are serving. He's going to, you're going to serve the Lord. Clap your hands. Clap for Him. 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 In the first service, we had someone who had already made a appointment with the doctor. She was She has suffered a lot for about four months. During the service, the spirit of the Lord brought her up. 
And God said, you do not even need to just see the doctor. You are free. The pain she has suffered for months of it disappeared She went back celebrating. The money that the devil wanted to make. To see a professor concerning the women. God in heaven has God to I declare that whoever was sick to be healed. I declare healing right now. I declare healing. Those who are in the audience. Whoever was suffering the pain. I declare that the one who is suffering with the pain. The one who is suffering with the pain. The one who is suffering with the pain. The one who is suffering I declare that all, all pain and pain is pain is pain. Pain. I declare healing in the Those who had weakness I declare that your body is The way God did it with Adam Hopkins. 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 Hopkins, you are I declare that your body is healed. I declare that your body is healed. I declare that your body is healed. From the head to the toes. You are well. You are well. Okay, to All your years will be You are more than that. You are more than that. You are more than that. You have joy. Your body. Your part. Your Whatever part of your body has been let it respond. To let it be well. As it is supposed to be. It has happened. In the name of Jesus. I have spoken to you. Let the heaven. 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 Let of our Lord Jesus. Amen. 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 Get hold of your offertory and your tithe and your love offering.